Hi, I'm Mark Jenkins. I'm a professor at the University of Minnesota Medical School. I'm the director of the Center for Immunology. and I've been an AAI member for a long time. And this year, it's my privilege to be the president of the AAI. So this is a very special meeting for me. And one of the most special things about it is that today I'll be giving Bill Paul the uh, AAI Mentoring Award. And Bill is one of my heroes from mentors from the days in the Laboratory of Immunology at the NIH. So I'm really pleased to see Bill get that award. But it reminded me of uh, what I call Bill's seismic lecture, which he gave at an AAI meeting in Las Vegas in 1986. And I was a postdoc at the time, and I had, had gone to the meeting, and Bill was giving a, uh, one of the plenary lectures in this gigantic ballroom. And he got about, I think, maybe 15 minutes into the lecture, as I recall, when the building shook. And uh, to the point where you could feel the vibration and dust settled out from the rafters. And so a lot of people were quite concerned by this. Of course, all the West Coast people were thinking earthquake. But me and my colleague, Dan Miller, who was also from the LI, and he was sitting next to me, we were, we were Midwest boys, and we were kind of going, what was that all about, you know? And then, uh, but then, and then Bill stopped his lecture. And then it stopped. Everybody kind of calmed down. And they started in again, and then in about 10 minutes, it happened again. More dust came out of the lecture, and people, act, some people panicked and like fled the lecture hall. And the, and the lecture was, I can't remember if it was postponed or canceled. But uh, Bill has been great science and revolutionized the field, but here he may have actually caused an earthquake. But what turns out happened was there was a chemical plant about 10 miles from there that had an explosion that shook the ground caused a fire that then caused a second explosion. So those were the two seismic events that everybody felt. But to me, that's one of the most memorable uh, events I experienced at AAI, and it was associated with, with Bill Paul, who's uh, getting the AAI Mentoring Award today. So I wanted to make sure that got on the record. And I actually wasn't sure if that was a figment of my imagination after all these years, but I confirmed it with uh, Michelle Hogan. This really did happen. And, so, and I'm sure if you asked Bill, he'd tell you the same thing. As AEI president this year, this has been a very special uh, meeting for me. Uh, it's a great pr pr privilege to be elected by the members and then to come here uh, to Pittsburgh and have a well-attended meeting that's been full of exciting science and, and a meeting where we rolled out the largest uh, AEI grant program in AEI history, $1.3 million to fund postdocs and students uh, in laboratories that have uh, have lost their funding due to the NIH uh, bun, uh, funding restrictions that are, we're all suffering from now. So I'm, I'm very proud to be the president when that, uh, when that new program is rolled out, in addition to another program that I felt strongly about, which is a program that would fund travel for investigators to go to another laboratory to learn a new technique. So this will help collaborations, provide some travel money, let people learn a new technique that then, then enhance their quality of the research when they when they go back home so I'm proud of those two uh, I'm proud of those two programs that happened during my uh, during my tenure here as president I'm also happy that uh, that as the as I'm here as a representative of the University of Minnesota and I'm the I think I'm the first although I might be the second uh, AEI president from the University of Minnesota so it's been a good chance for me to showcase our program uh, which is a growing program and gives us some, some, some national recognition. So it's been, I've, I've thought of it a lot as a sort of selfishly as a Minnesota meeting. I know there's not that many of us here, but uh, so that, that's been another a great opportunity. And then the third really important thing about this meeting for me is that I got to recognize my friend uh, Leo LaFrancois who passed away. Uh, about a year ago. He would have been a speaker in the, today's uh, presidential symposium. And so I, I uh, did generate my talk or created a talk that was, had a lot of unique elements, I think, that I think people enjoyed, really built around Leo's um, memory and uh, legacy. And so that's been a very uh, important and, um, thing for me, which I'll, I'll never forget. And I'm glad I was AEI president in that year that Leo passed away so that I could make sure his, uh, his memory was honored in the way that I think was appropriate. I get asked a lot the question, well, why should I be an AEI member? What, what is so important about AEI? Well, I like to, I, I, I like to do the thought of, 
thought experiment of what if there was no AAI? What if there was no, no annual meeting for everyone in the field to come and present their work and network with their colleagues? What if there was no place, no, no uh, general immunology meeting that was affordable and consistent, that provided lots of travel awards for uh, young scientists to come and present their work? What if there was no immunology-focused organization lobbying Congress on behalf or educating Congress on behalf of immunology-specific issues? What if there was no immun AAI to have committee work to, to demonstrate service to the scientific, to, to scientific discipline for people who were trying to get promoted and get tenure? Uh, what if there was no AAI to produce the Journal of Immunology to publish the, the, uh, the, the important work in the field in a system that doesn't triage papers but that provides a review for all papers? So I think if you add all that up, the, the discipline of immunology would be much poorer uh, if it wasn't for the AAI. And so that's why I think if you're an immunologist, you should support the discipline and you should be a member and you should get involved.